Dear professional students, you are welcome to another session of derivative valuation and analysis. In this session, we want to look at futures contracts. And to start with, what are futures? When we are talking about futures, futures are derivative financial contracts that obligate the parties to transact an asset at a predetermined future date and price. Here, what we are trying to say is that the buyer must purchase or sell Sorry, the buyer must purchase or the seller must sell the underlying asset at the set price under future contracts. The buyer must purchase is a compulsory. That is why we say that it obligates the party to transact an asset at a predetermined future date and price. So the buyer must purchase and the seller must sell the underlying asset at the set price regardless of the current market price at the expiration. And the underlying assets include the physical commodity or other financial instruments. Future contract details the quantity of the underlying assets and are standardized to facilitate the trading on a future exchange. Futures can be used for edging and trade speculation. That is a one by future. Now, what is future? Let better. Uh, let's try to give a better explanation than what we just did. Futures, also called future contracts, allow the trader to lock in the price just as in case of forward that allow the trader to lock in the price. Future also allow the trader to lock in the price of the underlying asset or commodity. These contracts have expiration dates and set prices that are known upfront. So the future are identified by the expiration months. For example, we have a December gold future contract expires in December. The time future tends to represent the overall market. However, there are many types of future contracts available for trading. One, we have commodity futures such as crude oil, natural gas, corn, and wheat. Those are the underlying assets that will be in the futures and uh, in the commodity futures. We also have stock index futures. And part of the index we have is SP 500. We have German DAS, we have CAC 40, and the rest. That is for France. We have CAC 40. We have German DAS for Germany. We have AC 30 for Nigeria here. So these are the index we have. And not only that, we have currency features, which include those for the euros and British pound. We also have precious metal features for gold and silver. And we have US Treasury features for bond and other products these are the types of futures we have it is also important to note the distinction between the options and futures contracts although we are not discuss option but it's imperative we know the if anyway let's do it this way you know we are not discussed option we just discussed forward features when i discuss option i will try to tell you the difference between the three Let's suspend discussion of difference or decision between the option and future. Understand? But if I want to just brief it, I will tell you that the option contract gives the owner the right to buy or sell the underlying asset at expiration, while the order of futures contract is obligated to fulfill the terms of the contract. Now, let's look at the advantage of this futures contract we are just discussing. We are talking about advantage, we are talking about the pros. So the investor can use futures contract to speculate on the direction of the price of an underlying asset. He can use to do what? To speculate. And not only that, company can edge the price of their raw material or product. That means that the futures could be used to edge. Understand? So the company can use to hedge their product or materials they sell in order to protect from adverse price movements. And aside this, futures contract may also require a deposit of a fraction of the contract amount with a broker. So it just requires only a fraction with the broker which is known as margin. So that's the advantage. What are the disadvantages? We are talking of disadvantages of futures contracts. The first one is that Investors have risk that they can lose more than the initial margin amount since the future 
use a leverage that is one two investing in futures contracts might cause a company to edge I mean, the company that edge to miss out of favorable price movement it is true but when you edge you are looking the price and if you if the price outshoot the level you edge it you will not be able to take the advantage you only get the level which you have uh, lock it and the last disadvantage is that margin can be double edge sword meaning that gain and amplify and also losses will also be amplified these are the usage of what sorry the pros and cons of edging now let's look at the use of edging sorry the using of futures we are talking of using of futures futures market typically use high leverage futures market typically use what high leverage high leverage means that the trader does not need to put up 100 percent of the contract value amount when entering to the contract instead the program will require an initial margin amount and which consists a fraction of the total contract value so the amount held by the broker can really depending on the size of the contract and also it depends on the creditworthiness of the investor and the broker's terms and conditions those are the things that determine what the edge will be now we are still under the decision of futures the exchange where the futures contract will determine if the contract is for fiscal delivery we have some some contract that are fiscal what physical delivery so we are talking of physical delivery physical delivery is where the assets supposed to de de uh, deliver physically and it could also be cash settled it could be cash settled now a corporation may enter into physical delivery contract to lock in the price of the commodity they need for production however most futures contracts are from traders who speculate on the edge so these contracts are closed out or netted and the difference in the original trade and closing trade price is a uh, what we known as cash settled now let's remember earlier i said you can use future to either speculate or edge let's see how we use the futures to speculate we are talking of future speculation a future contract allows a trader to speculate on the direction of the movement of the commodities price and how does this happen it's happening in the sense that if a book if a trader bought a futures contract and the price of the commodity rose and was trading above the original contract price at expiration then they will have a profit before they have a profit right now for expression the buy trade which indicates long position will be offset or wound with a set trade for the same amount at the contract price effectively closing the long position so the difference between the price of the two contracts will be cash set to be what will be cash set to in the investor brokerage account and no physical product will exchange hands however the trader will also lose if the commodity price was lower than the purchase price specified in the contract or in the futures contract rather now spe uh, speculators can also take short position or sell speculative position if they predict that the price of the commodity asset will fall so that is where they take short position and short position indicate that they want to deliver assets and if the price does decline as expected the trader will take an offsetting position to close the contract and again the net difference between the settled at the expiration of the contract and investor will realize again if the underlying asset price was actually below the contract price and a loss if the contract price was above the contract uh, sorry if the contract price was above if the current price rather i mean if the current price was above the contract price and it is important to note here that trading on margin allows for much larger position than the amount held by the brokerage account as a result margin investing can amplify gains but it can also magnify losses imagine a trader imagine a trader who has 5000 broker 
account of $5,000 broker account balance and is trading for a 50,000 position in crude oil. So the price of the oil move against the trader, they can incur losses that are far exceed the brokerage uh, account, which is a $5,000 initial margin amount. In this case, the broker will make a margin call requiring the additional fund be deposited to cover the market losses. That is our speculation actually operate. Now, the next one is futures edging. Futures edging can be, or futures can be used to edge price movement as well from the point of the short position or from, from the point of uh, both the manufacturer and the buyers. So futures, as I said, can be used to edge the price movement of the underlying asset. Here, what actually happened is that the goal is to prevent the losses from potentially unfavorable price change rather than to speculate. And many companies that enter edges are using or in many cases producing the underlying assets. For example, a conformer can use futures to lock in the specific price for selling their corn crops. By doing so, they reduce the risk and guarantee that they will receive the feasible price at their at, at, at the time they are getting the produce from their farm. And if the price of the corn decreases, the company will have a gain on the edge to offset the losses from selling the corn at the market. With such a gain and losses offsetting each other, the edge inversely locking the locks in an acceptable market price. So that's uh, that. And we are talking about uh, regulation or uh, how do future contract work. So we want to look at the perspective of what regulation of futures. The futures market are actually regulated by commodity futures trading commissions. And this uh, was a federal agency created in what? In 1974 to ensure the integrity of futures contract of futures market pricing including preventing abusive trade practice, fraud, and regulating brokerage firms engaging in futures trading. So that is a little regarding futures contracts and the futures market. So with this, we want to, or we had already opened your mind regarding that, which we believe you can also build on. Thanks for listening.